guys, today's video I'm just going to go over a little bit of exercise physiology for you and I'm going to talk about the different types of muscle fibres in the body. Now most people have heard of slow twitch and fast twitch muscle fibres but there's actually three different types of muscle fibres in your body and helping you to understand that will help you understand why some people can go into the gym and it seems like they don't have to do much to build a lot of muscle while other people work really hard trying to build muscle why some people are fast, some people are better at long distance, those sort of things. A lot of it comes down to your genetics and your fibre type makeup. Okay, so type 1 fibres, these are your slow twitch fibres as you've heard of. So we use these in our long distance exercise, they're really good at um, using oxygen for energy. So we use those, they're very fatigue resistant and we use those yeah, in those long distance exercises such as running and things like that. Okay, there's type 2 fibres. Okay, type 2B. These are your really explosive fibres, the ones that sprinters have a lot of. They're really good for jumping, explosive, powerful movements, and they're also really good for building size and things for guys building muscle in the gym. Explosive movements help to stimulate those fibres. And then there's the type 2A fibres. Now these are a bit of a combination of both. They have some of the fatigue resistant qualities of the type 1 fibres, but they're also capable of producing a good amount of force like the type 2B fibres. Now this sort of stuff isn't super important, but it is good to understand because it'll help you know why some type of training is going to suit you better depending on your genetics. Now humans generally are about 60% fast twitch fibres, but there will be individual variances in those. That's why a lot of the African Americans are really good sprinters. They're really high in type 2B fibres, the explosive ones, allows them to run fast, jump high, things like that. And it's also why Kenyans and Ethiopians are good at the long distance running. They have a lot of those type 1 fibres. Now the percentage difference might not be too much. It might only be 10% here, 5% there, something like that. But it just allows you to understand why everyone's genetics will make them suited to some different sport or a different training style. Thanks guys and I'll see you tomorrow.